Hey folks, welcome to another AKS Me Anything. Today we're going to be talking with Ye Wang, who is one of our engineering managers that takes care of things like security patching, maintenance windows, and other critical tasks in AKS. Let's go take a look at what he's doing and ask him what the team has been doing this week. All right, so I find, find uh, Ye at the office. Um, thanks for joining us in a, this edition of AKS Me Anything, Ye. Um, so what has the team been doing this week? Oh, I'm glad to be here. So we have just sent out the landing report for the security patch feature we just did. And uh, there are uh, several insights in that uh, landing report uh, for the exercise we have been done for this feature. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. And, and actually might be a good uh, time to, to talk about the landing report that I'm sure most people won't know about. So in a guess we have what we call kind of a landing culture in opposition to a, a more like launching focus culture where we, we like to celebrate things as they land. And for that, uh, it means that the feature is not only launched and GA'd, but actually is meeting your needs and the needs of all the users that we designed it for. Sometimes there are things that we expect it to be doing that it might not. There's an adoption that we expect and a usage that we expect, and we want to make sure that those metrics are being captured. And so we look at features after their GA for some time, and we look at the success metrics that we define for it, and then we define how well they are landed or not, how much of mission accomplished is it uh, uh, the state of the, the, the feature or not. And so you did that for security patch yes. feature. I think it's also good to explain to our audience, like, what is the security patch feature? What is it all about? Yes. So it's all about, um, it started from a very specific customer request. Uh, our customers want to have their uh, secure environment to have their nodes to patch with the latest security patch as soon as possible. But on the other hand, they do not want to doing a re-image of their node every week, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be a huge burden in their, um, in their ops right. because they have... Um, may have certain disturbance to their traffic and then they right. are not able to sustain or they even have a stateful storage which is really hard for them to move during these type of a node image upgrade operations i see so in the typical upgrade like a node image or a patch you typically surge more nodes yes and then we rely on your know, pdbs to guarantee the availability and mm -hmm. then pods are moved around for the mm -hmm. new buffer nodes and mm -hmm. the old nodes for upgrades yep. and in a normal OS patching scenario, we basically bring a new VHD mm -hmm. and with all the fixes, yep. and then this process of surging nodes and moving pods comes around. That's correct. And in cases, as you're saying, like where storage comes around mm -hmm. and statefulness comes around, mm -hmm. you might have scenarios where the pod moves mm -hmm. and then it needs to kind of uh, reestablish the cluster if it's like something like Kafka or whatnot, and you know sometimes might need exactly. to restore data yep. and all that, and that can take some time. Yes, and it can delay the whole process quite a lot. Even if maybe the user doesn't see that disruption, that is a you know a costly and a, and a significant process exactly. to be looked after from the operators. Yes. That makes sense. And how so? How does this help it? How does this fix that? So our security pack feature will look into the details of the actual security pack we are installing. And then if there's a non-essential, like a non-kernel update, and then we will be going into the nodes and then uh, applying those patches directly on the nodes without rebooting the nodes. And then only when a uh, critical kernel updates is required and then a reboot is required after the installation of that packages, we will be uh, go in and then re-image that node with the patches on. I see. So you only re-image if the node needs to reboot in order to uh, apply a specific package. Yep. Other than that, you just download the packages and, yep. and install them in place. Yes, that that's very similar to. I mean, we, we've been running Ubuntu nodes mm -hmm. uh, for quite some time, and mm -hmm. that reminds me of a feature that Ubuntu nodes have, which is the unattended upgrades feature. Yes, that downloads things from mm -hmm. uh, uh, I guess the, the Ubuntu and canonical repositories mm -hmm. and installs them, mm -hmm. and also marks a flag called reboot required mm -hmm. in the node, the little file that it touches. Exactly. And then people would use things like the Kubernetes reboot daemon mm -hmm. to schedule reboots. Exactly. Is this using the same, like why is this not solving the same problem? Like why would we do something in addition to that? Oh, that's a great question. Actually, this feature is inspired by this particular uh, mechanism, unattended upgrade plus QRD uh, to begin with. And then it actually, it is caused us uh, AKS and even Azure uh, 
several big high-profile outages because mm. of the antenna grid and with QRD. Uh, the reason is um, the packages was the security packages were shipped by Canonical, and then mm -hmm. their testing is limited on the Canonical side. So there will be not possible to having them to cover all cases, especially for AKS and also AKS with our applications running on. And then, so there are multiple times that certain packages will be causing our uh, AKS node to be down. But the problem is with antenna upgrade and security in place. On the AKS clusters, all those packages will be installed on all of the customers' production nodes um, immediately mm -hmm. when those packages are being shipped. Mm -hmm. So then, um, that that's why in the past we have been uh, having uh, certain issues with the, the outages with the customers running those Intel upgrade directly patching those packages to the, the nodes. So to solving that problem, we want to uh, we we actually collaborated with the Canonical to okay. to to build a new uh, snapshot services, which is we could only install packages to a certain. Uh, timestamp of the snapshot. Uh -huh. And then using that way, we will be uh, first installing the packages to that timestamp, and then we are running our end-to-end -end test to, to validating that uh, snapshot mm -hmm. to be all good with our applications and our uh, system uh, in a whole. And then we're shipping that timestamp over our uh, uh, a safe deployment practices, yeah. and then to from region to region, and then to make it like a, 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 a regional rollout instead of uh, making oh, wow. that available to all production regions immediately. So, so it feels like we're getting the best of both worlds of like the same guarantees that Node Image gives us because there's test, there, everything is tested and then has a gradual rollout across the world exactly. that we document and we have on the release tracker and everything yes. there. Uh, but we receive them in place. Yes. And we do that by having a timestamp snapshot mm -hmm. from Canonicals mm -hmm. uh, that kind of mirrors Canonicals uh, update uh, repos, yep. but we only send to the VMs regionally and yep. after we test those packages exactly. uh, in our own testing environments. feels like we kind of created like an attended upgrades uh, yes. scenario. And so when, when, do, so when the, those updates land and they need reboots, when do the nodes reboot? Is it random like when they happen or what? Uh, so these, um, the, all the operations have been integrated with our um, maintenance window feature. Okay. So the customer can configure a maintenance window for their cluster, and all these operations will happen exactly at the window the customer configured. So it will never happen on, on, unattended or like say on undesired high traffic time. Very good, very good. That's that's pretty good. Uh, so that causes some challenges in the past, as you said. Mm -hmm. How many outages have we had since we had that feature for, for users of that feature? So, so far has after we shipped the feature, we have never have any outages like uh, previously, um, like in comparing with previously, we roughly having almost uh, two sort of these type of outages per year. Wow. Um, so after we have shipped the feature, we have zero. That's very good. I mean, zero is a great number to yeah. say when, when, when we have about outages. I suppose that the, the gatekeeping there is really our testing. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, never, testing is never perfect out there, but exactly. it, it's, it's going to be a much more comprehensive. It's the same testing that we, you know, get our releases with, get our node images with, yep. and everything else. So the same guarantees that we can offer essentially with any code touch we have, yes. we offer as well with all the security patches, which... No, if there's a gap, it's going to be hopefully once in a full moon it, it, or a blue moon. Uh, it, exactly, really, yeah. and, and then I I think that's the the very good point is you know testing is never going to be one hundred percent. There are always going to be caps uh, gaps, and then there are always going to be corner cases we haven't covered, or there will even be like a new corner cases arise from certain uh, customer usage uh, mm -hmm. usage scenarios. Yeah, but. Um, the the whole idea here is like say with the um, SDP in place, uh, whenever this such scenario happens, we could catch it in the early region and then we can stop the release right there and then doing the rollback. 
and then there will be very minimal impact if such cases happen, mm -hmm. and then it will not be bleeding into the entire uh, whole outages for the entire regions. That's and then, right. That's right. So if, even in the worst case, it's still a much better case. Exactly. For that, that makes sense. So that that's great. Okay. So we did a, a bit of a big detour here to explain what this feature mm -hmm. is. But you're telling that the team did an exercise where we looked at the performance of this feature mm -hmm. and you know, if it's achieving its goals and got a lot of insights from it on what to do next to, to ensure it, it meets its uh, success criteria. Mm -hmm. What were some of the insights? What are some of the things that the team is going to be doing? Oh, yeah. That's uh, uh, another very good question. So uh, based on the uh, insights we're looking into, like uh, we are really excited with the result we're achieving. So currently I we're... Zero outages is already yeah, pretty yeah. exciting. Yeah. And then also we're looking at the actual, um, like the actual disturbance we are causing okay. uh, to the customers. Uh, currently, we're looking at, we have reduced uh, 60 to 70% of node image upgrade in general for That's the incredible. customers who is on this feature. So that means um, by looking past for the past two months, uh, we are only did uh, two node image upgrade in the past eight weeks. Uh, instead of uh, if the customer weekly is, or fairly you know, in that, a yeah. weekly re-image operation, that's going to be doing eight. Wow. Okay. That's 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 impressive. So that's that's great results. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the the I guess next work that the team will do to to make this feature even better? What what are some of the insights that we gather that led us to hmm? You know what? We're gonna yep. have to do a few more things. So. Currently, we are um, like uh, busy working on to bring the support to network isolated cluster um, okay. for a security patch. And also, uh, we are looking into the possibility. Maybe a parenthesis, a network isolated cluster is, if you're not, not aware of that feature, is the fairly new preview feature that we're about to GA that allows you to create clusters without any network connectivity, especially on the outbound side where we used to have specific requirements for outbound endpoints, uh, one of which for delivering security fixes. Mm -hmm. um, and now you are able to create that cluster without those endpoints. And so we're going to provide support even for this inbound that is downloading from this snapshot. It's still going to work with... Exactly. So uh, it's... A very challenging project, but uh, we we have been doing some like uh, uh, smart moves, and then we are just uh, delivering the security packages through our own funnel to into the. So it's cluster. like a private tunnel that private is tunnel. that so that there's yep. still no public connectivity yep. necessary, but it's still getting delivered. That's exactly, amazing. that's really yes. good. And then also with the, all the infrastructure we have built so far, so we are looking into some further uh, innovative uh, ways for delivering uh, certain critical binary uh, CVE fixes uh, with a security patch channel, for example. Like Leveraging this OS me package mechanism to expand to other things as exactly. well. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So th that's going to be solving a lot of uh, uh, other critical uh, customer requests, which is, you know, uh, I have vulnerabilities in my Kubelet or Container D, but I do not want to re-image every once in a while, like say, because mm -hmm. uh, because of the reasons like uh, over um, Kubelet and the Container D cache a lot of uh, uh, previous versions, and then that get be flagged for CVEs really, right. really frequently. Right. So um, if like every single time we will give delivering for delivering those CVE fixes that's caused a node image upgrade to the customer, they will be saying no, but still they will be leaving um, the critical binaries vulnerable. So that's not an option as well. So currently we're looking into uh, how we can solve that with a similar fashion, uh, which is can keep them secure, but does not bring too much disturbance. Yeah, very good, very good. Anything else that the people should be looking for? Um, so we are also uh, looking at um, uh, just uh, delivering these uh, feature parodies to other uh, operating systems. And, oh, good. Um, good. And so is this is this currently only on Ubuntu? Uh, it's available in Ubuntu and Azure Linux. Okay, uh, so it's and already then, in both of the, the Linux distros. Yes, okay. and uh, the Windows distro is in preview. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so it's coming for uh, for uh, Windows to GA soon, yeah. hopefully. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So thanks for sharing this. That's a lot of great insights, and I'm sure you know that's definitely going to make a lot of people happy. Yeah. Uh, any? What's the giving finishing this this? If you ask me anything with a a more open ended question, 
What's the thing that you're most excited about? Um, so I would say, like, I'm really excited about for、um, say how the innovations were bring into the table. So,、mm -hmm. like, say,、uh, the first of all, we are really listening to the customers. This is purely like, say, we are thinking really from the customers' shoes. So、uh, this is a very challenging. Uh, project to do,、mm -hmm. and then there, like, it requires a lot of uh, innovative uh, thinkings in,、mm -hmm. in involved to be bring the solutions to the table.、Mm -hmm. But in the end, is really、uh, we are not say, oh, you know what? If you want、uh, security, you need to you figure it out. You, you、yeah. figure it out.、Yeah. You either do it yourself or you reimage your node. Like,、yeah. say, there's a no better way. So.、Yeah. Um, and then we really listen to the customers, and then we even like say.、Uh, Bring the the issue with our partners at、yeah. uh, Canonical, and then collaborating them to build a new snapshot services to support、uh, this、uh, the SDP for for this feature. So then、uh, I am really excited. Is like say Microsoft and especially AKS. We listen to the customer, and then we are doing all the best in in really in the benefit for the customer.、Yeah. Not only like say making our job easy. So. That's、yeah. a, that's a, that's a great point, and I, I think it it highlights a very interesting thing that we don't talk to、uh, enough,、uh, which is both the the challenge that sometimes that these different requirements come in, right? Because the, we need to try things that are you know delivering security fixes fast,、mm -hmm. delivering them in a way that doesn't disrupt as much as possible,、mm -hmm. delivering them in a private manner、mm -hmm. um, uh, for these, you know, testing it. In a slow rollout,、mm -hmm. and then、uh, doing it in a controlled manner that we can、uh, provide full support for in in many many cases.、Mm -hmm. And often, I think one of the the things that it's a great call that you made on the partnership with Canonical there, and I think it's one of the things that we bring to the table the most is the ability to kind of really move things wherever that must be, whether、mm -hmm. it's through our upstream contributions、mm -hmm. to Kubernetes or all the open source projects,、mm -hmm. whether it's through our deep partnering with. Key、uh, industry vendors like Canonical,、yep. whether it's through the innovations that we build in the team and keeping that that customer uh, mindset uh, that that really drives us, which is even if you know there's some solution like Node Image, customer is still not still not perfect, and I、yep. think we'll never be perfect. Yep, but. At least trust that we're going to keep working on it,、right. uh, and we're going to get there. That, that's a that's a very good note to end on.、Yep. Thank you very much.、Okay. It's great to, to、right. have you.、Thank、and you. hope it was a good. Ak, ask me anything. Let us know in the comments what、uh, other topics, if at all,、uh, you want us to talk about. Otherwise, I'll keep finding folks around the halls and bringing them here into our new kind of studio,、uh, which is just a, a little corner uh, in our uh, between our desks. And thanks for attending another Ak, ask me anything. See you around, folks. All right. See ya.